Hi, hello, it's me, Ryan. Today, I'm gonna tell you why you should buy CDs over vinyl or any music streaming services, while also talking into a microphone that's not even plugged into my phone, and I couldn't plug it in even if I wanted to. I hope to God you know what a CD is, but in case you don't, this is what they are. They're like vinyl, but they're better, and I'll get to that. That's the disc, you take it out, you play it, um, basically. And then, you get a little booklet which has like lyrics, art, pictures. You got a picture of the Hype House right here. I think I broke it, but okay. So you may be thinking, why would I spend money on this when I can just get music on Spotify or YouTube or whatever for free? Well, 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 let me tell you why. So believe it or not, uh, compact discs actually sound better than music streaming services and vinyl. If you don't believe me, uh, just play a CD in a CD player with headphones on and then play the same song on Spotify with headphones on. You'll, you'll know what I'm talking about. The second reason being the, th the best. Now I know what you're thinking. Well, I could just pay for Spotify premium and listen to any music I want. In CDs, you're limited to only one album. Okay, well, here's the thing. Spotify premium is a service where you pay for music once every month but with cds you pay for the music one time and then it's yours the music streaming service can't take it away from you the artist can't take it away from you this is yours forever like just imagine some unforeseeable day where like and i know this is a bit far-fetched but what if legendary songwriters like neil young and Joni mitchell decided to take their songs off spotify just to make you think i know it's never gonna happen but like Oh my god. Also, CDs are cheap. Some of my CDs, I don't know if you can see them. My room's a bit of a mess. Those are all my CDs. I have two more shelves below that. Most of those CDs I got for like $5.99. Some were $7.99. Some were $2. Try imagining getting your final record for $5.99. You can't. Yeah, you could, but I mean, it would probably be like some Barry Manilow record from Goodwill. Also, when you listen to um, music on... <laughs> when you listen to music on Spotify, you don't get the artwork. You don't get the artwork. You get the album cover. That's pretty cool, right? Let me, let me get another example. Okay, I'm gonna use these three as an example. This one, the Beatles number one, it has all of their records and their singles, like, like, in pictures over the years, in different languages. Could you get that on Spotify? Oh, this is the Eagles, the very best of the Eagles. Two discs. Look at all that great music. The booklet for this, it's literally, it literally tells the story of each song. Each song. If it weren't for this CD, I wouldn't know that Take It Easy was written in a one-room apartment. Look at that. Oh, look at that. $5.99. And this is probably my favorite example, Pearl Jam 10, iconic grunge record. Uh, and yeah, you could listen to it on Spotify. But let me ask you this, let me ask you this. Could you get this on Spotify? I didn't think so. And yeah, I guess you could have that same experience with holding the physical artwork with vinyl records too. But then you'd also be looking at an eviction notice because you spent all your rent money on a Frank Ocean record. Look, it's a great album. I am not paying 20 grand for a color inversion. Also, you don't need Wi-Fi. Also, these are a lot more portable. Imagine taking three vinyl records in a turntable to go camping. You're set. Also, a lot of CD players come with a radio, so you can listen to the same Harry Styles song 25 times. That's pretty cool. You can skip a song, you can skip to a song. The possibilities are endless. They're a lot easier to store. So I'd probably need like this bookshelf right here just to store a vinyl collection as big as my CD collection. The first and obvious one is Amazon. You can get literally anything off Amazon. I got adopted off Amazon. If you're wondering why I'm so dumb, it was because I was mishandled during shipping. <laughs> the truck crashed. Then they stuffed me in a mailbox. You can get them off eBay, uh, half-price books. They always have CDs. 
and even if like the half price books you go to doesn't have like the CD you want, and uh, if you have like a half price books gift card, they have a website too. Not that they have everything on their website like Amazon, but they, they have a lot of stuff. You can go to Goodwill, even though I've never found anything good there. I found Phantom of the Opera on cassette, but I mean, do I look like the person who would watch Phantom of the Opera? Yard sales, garage sales. Also, these are easy to steal. Uh, or if you're not a peasant like me, you can pull up to Target or Walmart in your Lamborghini and pay $20 for Donda, but you know, whatever floats your boat. You can leave these out in the sun and they won't warp. Cause it's made out of metal, sweetie. Or is this plastic? Like I said, I was mishandled during shipping. And yeah, uh, moral of the story, start collecting CDs. Hey, if you made it this far, I probably got you into a new addiction and I would just like to formally apologize to you. As you can see, I am a victim myself. If you're new here and you like the video, uh, I don't usually do stuff like this. I usually do like just weird skits and stuff, some occasional album reviews. Subscribe if you want. Uh, I'll be keeping your wallet in my prayers.